Hello everybody and welcome to uh, Flipper Flop Friday. Now I'm going to add a few today. I'm going to call it Friday's Favorites, First, or Flops because I have a lot of those things that I want to share with you. And um, uh, as far as firsts go, I want to start with that. Um, if you watched my Shh, Don't Tell Tom video, um, you know that I shared a lot of the um, items that I got for my upcoming birthday. I got I started getting gifts and um, there's that's a whole other video. I'm, I'm very spoiled and I understand that and that was just the first of I'm sure many gifts to come um, and I'm grateful for my family. But I did get a little bit of flack from some of you about not swatching some of the palettes. Especially, and the main one was Tarte's new Energy Noir uh, Fall 2015 palette. And um, it looks like this. I'm going to blind you all. But these are the colors for Fall 2015. And I did take the time to swatch them all for you. And I will do my best to show you what they are. Now, one thing I don't really care for about Tarte is that they don't put the name of the item on the actual palette. They only have it on this little plastic thingy-mabob. And I'm not real crazy about that, but, you know, hey, whatever. That's their decision. So, the highlighting color down here on the end that you can barely see is called Full Moon. The next one is Charged Up. The next one is called Dark Drive, and that's this third one in here. Uh, the second row is called, the first one in the second row is, is called Stone Unturned. Up to Slate. And Misty Mauve is the next one. The two eyeliner shades, these two darker ones here on the end, are called, uh, the black one is called uh, Lunar Eclipse and Power Plum. Now, the Power Plum is just gorgeous. It's gorgeous on, I have it on today. I, everything I have on today is from that palette. And I can see here I didn't blend well enough right there, and I'm sorry about that. But, um, got things going and I was a little quick today and I really wanted to get this video out to you and it's already way late in the afternoon um, and then we've got the highlighter uh, shimmer one down on the end that is very pretty very pretty it's called crystal spark and the the blush in the palette is called unearthed and I don't know that you can really see it but I really tried to put a lot of it on there so that you can see them and I am wearing them all um, and I am wearing one of the lippies that I got. And are they not just adorable? I'm wearing the one called Angelic Nude. So very pretty. Very, very pretty color. I'll even put a little more on so you can see it. It's And it, you know what? Um, it definitely has a peppermint smell. It doesn't do any plumping, but it smells and it tastes like peppermint, and it's even more than tasting like peppermint. There's a there's a taste, and if any of you have these and you have figured out what it is, let me know, because it is absolutely driving Gina crazy. And I also have on a first oh, that I'm going to reserve. I'm going to reserve my judgment on it, and because I got a sample and I wore it and even some of you had asked me about it what was on my face my face my face right so I went ahead and bought it and now I'm confused um, it was the new Too Faced Born This Way foundation that's what I'm wearing today I haven't had it on now I, I do not have a primer on with it today this is the first time I did not put a primer on underneath and I wear Smashbox uh, primer over 
um, an actual favorite. I also wear this serum, which is a primer. That's the It Cosmetics number 50 primer. I use it as a serum. Even when I get out of the shower in the evening, at night to go to bed, I put this on my face. And then in the morning after I wash, um, I love this stuff. This is a favorite. This is a favorite. So I have this on. And then I have Smashbox um, face primer on. Normally. That's what I'm saying. Normally, that's what I do. Today, I don't have anything on. So I'm reserving my um, judgment on... Maybe it's that, but I have not had this foundation on today for more than 20 minutes, and it is completely broke up on my nose. I went ahead and I wanted to film the video. I'm not going to get close, but it is literally broke up on my nose. So I'm going to reserve judgment on that. I love the packaging. I loved it in the sample. I got the same exact color. I'm in um, vanilla. So, I don't know. I don't really know what to say about that yet. I'm a little I'm a little upset today. Um, but loving, loving, loving my Tarte stuff so far. Now, one thing that I am not loving about Tarte, I just don't quite understand it, and I have it on today, is the Tarte Glow Light. Looks like that. This is what it looks like on the tip. It's a brush tip and it comes out. You paint it on the skin. Um, it's supposed to be a um, and I just did it and I put it on my face again not 10-15 minutes ago and you can see a little bit. What you do is you push this button the product comes out and you paint it. Now I had to literally push this button like 20 times to get any and all of a sudden a ton a ton came out so I'm not I'm not oh, okay see now I what maybe five pumps and then a bunch came out now it's supposed to be a highlighter for your I have it above my eyes I have it on my cheeks I don't know if you can see it I have it on my cupid's bow um, it's certainly not the Jaclyn Hill champagne pop highlighter by Becca because um, I love this. This this right now is my all-time favorite Becca. My all-time favorite period highlighter. I think I might have shared that with you all before but this is my favorite. This is something I just got for my birthday. I, I don't know how you can call this a highlighter. Look how it What to say? Um, I would say you could almost wear it for a like an eyeshadow, or maybe I don't know. I don't know. This is a first. I went ahead and tried it on. I I don't know. I'll tell you more about that later because I don't know. It's weird. I don't understand it. What I did pick up yesterday so so cute elf has these um storybook palettes i don't know if you guys seen them they're from walgreens and i'm in search for my book i really want the bell book um but apparently they're clearancing them out but is that not the cutest little packaging i love 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 it and the eyeshadow is really pretty too I'll swatch it for you. It's a cream shadow. Here it is. I put a lot on so you can see. Is that not pretty? So gorgeous. Okay, funny story. <laughs> if any of you watched my video collab video with my niece Cameron Beckett, um, which was her first video, you'll know that I talked about this Lorac um, bronzer, and I really didn't give it a really great review because I just didn't understand it. It just, when you put it on, you couldn't see it. I didn't like it. I don't know, it was strange. Here it is. I just was like, I don't like it, I don't get it. I don't understand it. Get it out of my life. That's kind of where I was. 
Well, then I swatched it in that video, and I was like, or right before that video, and I was like, oh my lands, I love this. As an eyeshadow, I'm going to wear it as an eyeshadow, right? So I decided, and I did. I wore it like two or three times as an eyeshadow. Loved it. Well, all of a sudden, now, it works like a charm. Almost like there was some kind of film on the top. I mean, yes, it's a little bit, it reads a little orange. Um, but for fall, it can absolutely be a wonderful, wonderful uh, bronzer. It's really, really pretty. Have that on today, too. Um, so, sharing the love a little more, this week is, of course, my Marc Jacobs palette. I'll show you. I love my Marc Jacobs number 7 palette. This is my favorite palette right now. Thanks to Mary over at Glitzy Fritzy. This is my favorite palette. And she's saying, what? Why is that? Why? What do I have to do with it? What? Because she don't have nothing to do with this palette. No, she don't. But she has everything to do with this right here. Moisturizer in a bottle. That's gold. It's like gold in a bottle. I'm like, no lie. If you're over 50 or even younger and you're starting to mature in the eye area and you're starting to get uh, crepe eye. Now... Of course, we have no idea. That's not a claim they make. It's not something on the bottle that says, we cure crepe eye. Because that is not their claim. But Mary claimed that it was one of three items in one of her videos that, you know, was really helping her crepe eye. So I was like, Mary, which one do you think it is? And she was like, well, I really think it's this. And it's by, um, it's called Hydrating Eye Cream, and it's because by Timeless. I'm absolutely in love with this. I am absolutely, it is my all-time number one can't live without item in my home right now. This right here. Little $19 bottle of eye cream. Love it. Love it. Um, and then... I went to Ulta. Gina went to Ulta. I mean, can we help going to Ulta? I mean, whatever, you know. So I picked up a couple things. One thing I picked up at the door, you know, as you're going out, is, you know, they always have stuff, and you're like, oh, I really want to try that. Well, there's a good way to try it. The It Cosmetics Tight Line um, Eyeshadow Primer. I'm eyeshadow primer, really? Uh, mascara primer. It's actually called Full Lash Length 3 in 1 Eyeliner Primer and Mascara. Um, I haven't used it yet. It's I just picked it up. It's just the travel size, so it's tiny, but it's a great way to try things. Packaging's really cute. And what I wanted it for is I wish you could understand how tiny this brush is. Look how much smaller than that pencil that is. It is so tiny. It's going to go right up in them lashes. And so I'm really excited to try that. Pick that up yesterday. And I saved it because I wanted to show you guys. I didn't, didn't wear it, even though I probably could have. Okay, straight up for packaging. I'm just telling you, straight up for packaging. Didn't read anything on it. Don't know anything about it. I picked up these at Ulta yesterday because they were buy one, get one half price. They're by Physicians Formula. It is the Sexy Booster Cat Eyes Collaboration Mascara. That's this one. Is that not a to die for packaging? And then the Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Felt Tip Liner and Serum. So apparently maybe it's, you know, good for your eyes. Lash Boosting Results. So excited about this. I'm not going to open that because it might take too long. But you have to see this packaging. If any of you have already wore this, tell me what you think. Because it is so cute I can barely stand it. G 
hoping you can get it out of the package. Okay. I'm not going to do it justice because you're not going to understand unless you feel it. This this scrolly red stuff is actual felt. It's not kind of felt, look like felt. It is felt. And then the little high heel shoe. I absolutely bought this for the packaging. So cute. I didn't have, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look at this brush. <laughs> okay, first of all, it's very flexible. I don't know how much I'm going to like that. I don't know if you can see that. How I mean, it is seriously flexible. Look at that brush. Wow. I don't understand the tip of it very much. It's not, uh, not a ball. It's, I don't know. We'll, we'll reserve that. I 100% bought this because it is the cutest thing. I love it. Love, love, love it. And then the, this is just a black package. But I absolutely bought it for that. So cute. Okay, and Gina... Is that hilarious? Gina's going to join the bandwagon. Again, you people are killing me. I bought false eyelashes for the first time in my life. Because I'm so allergic to everything... I'm allergic to a band-aid. No lie. I'm allergic to a band-aid. So I don't put things on my face that have glue. But I'm going to. And it's all your fault. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Someone got on to me for picking on you guys. I wonder who that was. So anyways, Gina got some lashes. <clears throat> I'll let you know how that works out. And um, absolute favorite... I, I'm pretty sure I've probably talked about this, but this is my Dior Instant Gentle Cleansing Oil. This is what I take my makeup off with. Um, it's what I wash my face with. It's pretty much all I use. Uh, I love it. I love everything about it. If, you, if you're sensitive skinned, it does have a slight smell. Um, I think all Dior has a little bit of a smell. It has that smell. But um, it works great. It takes off mascara like that. I love this stuff. Cannot live without this stuff. Uh, it's, it's not cheap. Um, this bottle is 6.7 fluid ounces. And it, I believe, was $38. So there's that. Oh, I know I talked about this already. Now this stuff is pricey. It's pricey. I'm just telling you. Um, this is one fluid ounce. And I want to say at Ulta, it's probably, I think it's $54. Somewhere between $48 and $54, but I'm believing $54. And I got it on QVC one day when they were having a sale. You got two of them. They do it twice a year. So if you want to pay attention, if you end up liking it, or you have it, you might want to just know this. Twice a year they put these on sale for two for the price of one. That's a sale. So that's when I got those. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this. If you like these type of things, let me know and I'll do more. I have a makeup addiction. I know that. Um, I did buy my very first Butter London yesterday at Ulta. I forgot to show you that. Haven't worn it yet, but that's going to be my fall polish. It is called Trifle. It's really pretty. Very, very pretty fall color. Shimmery brown. Got some gold in it. Got maybe a little bit of silver in it also. Liking that. Okay. I'm going to go. I don't know exactly how long this is, but I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I'll see you tomorrow for Saturday Flatter Day. Have a great day. Bye-bye.